Good morning. It's November 10th, 2022. If you watched the last vlog, you know we should be home by now. But Hurricane Nicole uh, made it uh, impossible to do so. Look at those birds. Those birds look like they're just floating in air because of the wind. That is actually kind of creepy. Um, the airport closed yesterday at 4 p.m. Our flight was supposed to leave at 2.30. However, um, uh, they canceled it. So we're here for another few nights. Hopefully, we'll fly back on Saturday. Um, but of course, this hurricane is just is, is going up the coast and is probably going to hit Boston. So, <laughs> great. Yeah, so it's definitely really windy out. And the water is like... Like I've never seen the water like that. At Disney Springs is closed at the moment as well. So the parks are opening on like a like abbreviated schedule today. The Disney Springs is as well. Um, but yeah, we are uh, staying in the room. Hi. We're staying in the room today. Um, we might go to the community hall and see if there's any crafts or something the kids can do. Um, but for now, we're just going to be hanging out. They are opening the parks later at about noon, one o'clock. Um, we don't have a park pass, so we won't be going, and I don't think we'd really go anyways. Um, but I'm hoping to get one for tomorrow. Um, it's currently grayed out, so that means like nothing is available for tomorrow, but I'm gonna keep looking today and hope that changes. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside before I lose my camera. Whoa! Yeah, these winds are strong. You can't even, you can't see them inside once you're outside. They, they are definitely strong. All right, so now that I'm inside, Joan's actually gonna go outside and take a little video too. We just made some coffee, which you know we do every day. Ben is hanging out, watching his fire pad, having some milk. Um, but I thought I would show you this makeshift office we set up over here for Eric to do work and for Hi. me to do work. So Eric's got a call today and I have um, two social media shifts to do. All right, so we're going out for a little walk to go to the community hall. It's still very windy out. It's not raining anymore, so that's good. Um, we're gonna go to community hall, see if there's anything to do there for the kids. Um, people are definitely going to the parks. The parks are open, uh, but we basically can't get in the park right now because they're blocked out. All the days are grayed out, which means you can't get a, a reservation for any park right now. Yeah, let's see what the community hall has to offer. Try what you doing? Um, coloring mini. Coloring mini. This is the community hall here at Saratoga Springs. It's very, very cool in here. They have a lot of stuff for the kids to do. Um, yeah, maybe Daddy will come down with Ben. And I'll probably bring, bring Ben down here when Daddy's busy at three. But yeah, they have a lot of really cool stuff. And they also have this, like, yeah, I'm right here. They have these um, magnets that you can color, and they have a little movie room over here. <gasps> I love it! Awesome! We can put it on the refrigerator! Yeah, we can! It's a magnet! Do you you want to finish coloring it? Um, and then they have like a bunch of arts and crafts that you can do over there. And then here is kind of all the good stuff that goes on here at Saratoga Springs, which you know is our favorite. Um, Mickey tie-dye. I actually really want to do a Mickey tie-dye. And they have some Halloween candy <laughs> from uh, the other day. And then out here is the entrance to the pool. Hey Chip! What are you all making? We're making some ears! Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I see Pluto too! Hey Chip, what are you drawing? Pluto! Oh my god, Tiana, my favorite princess! I know! Pluto's just hanging out over there. Charlotte's making some ears. We are we got a hot glue gun over here. Charlotte's making some cool gem ears. Ooh. I so it's E E. L. There we go. So, okay. So, Warren, anything? We'd like to know names. What's your name? Olivia. 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 Olivia.
but we need to go out and get something to eat, so we're heading on over to Disney Springs. It's uh, really windy. It's not raining, but it could rain at any second. Uh, we all have jackets on. I have pants, which I'm super excited about. It's great to be in pants in Florida again. And uh, I think everyone is going to drink guy. And I'm going to go, you can probably hear the wind in the camera. And I'm going to head on over to Everglades to get myself a fucking chicken. Maybe surprise. All right, we made it to Chicken Guy. Um, it is absolutely packed at Disney Springs. I am shocked. So packed. But then I thought, you know what? There's probably a lot of people like us that got stuck here and aren't going to the parks because or by the time we find out we were staying, um, the parks were already basically blocked up. So we're here. We're getting Chicken Guy. I'm super excited about it. Eric said Everglades. Uh, but I figured, you know what, if we're going to be here another night, I'm getting Chicken Guy. So, um, yeah, so excited. It's been a while since we've been to Chicken Guy. I'll show you what it looks like in here. There's Mr. Guy himself. Going to get um, the two tender combo meals for the kids. I'm going to get five tenders for myself, three tenders for Joan. I don't know if they're ready yet, are they? So, surprise, surprise, I'm back at Everglades getting my funky chicken on a donut. Uh, also got a breakfast burger for tomorrow, and I'm going to try the pumpkin uh, cold brew. So Kristen and the rest of the fam are over at Chicken Guy, and I'm going to meet them, and I think I can cut through the lock, the orange garage and get over there quicker. So that's my plan. All right, like I was saying in line, Eric went to Everglades, got a little uh, sweaty and rainy uh, over there, and he got, yeah, work it, worth it for that funky chicken. That funky chicken sandwich is so good. There was an employee there yesterday being like, that sandwich is so good. It's better than Chick-fil-A. It has been. You love your food? Joan, how's your first time at Chicken Guy? Very good. Very good. The, chick the, the, the chicken is so, so good here. We got, we got the garlic parmesan sauce. We got curry mayo. We got buttermilk ranch for the kids. We got the donkey sauce. Joan got garlic parmesan. And we also got like a honey bourbon, bourbon BBQ. Charlotte, how you like it? Good? You're not sure about the ranch, huh? Well, I'm happy with it. So yummy. All right, so we're on our way back from Disney Springs, and uh, I still haven't decided which lightsaber I want. Pass you over here. It'll be different for you, Chris, to be on this side of me, but. You could be on this side. It's rainy. It's way rainier than I thought it would be, actually. But the good news is we got a park pass for tomorrow, Yay! despite the park calendar saying, like, basically that there's no availability. Yeah. The guy at guest services was like, yeah, we're basically doing it on a case. We're, we're basically allowing it on a case by case basis. Right. So, so um, uh, they're going to be able to go. So he, when we got up to the, the desk with the girl, Natalie, um, she was basically like, Sure, well, you guys want to go? <laughs> yeah. So. Even um, though the yeah, original yes. dude was like, you forget about going to the Magic Kingdom. That's not happening. Yeah, he was like, well, Magic Kingdom's going to have the least of a chance because there's a Christmas party tomorrow night. And I wanted to be yeah. like, that should mean that there's a better chance. Because nobody, like, a lot of people don't do a day ticket at Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Um, so, yeah, they got, they're going to go over to Epcot. And uh, maybe I'll try to head over there. Uh, we're all gonna go to Epcot. Eric's gonna make during it during a work. lunch break. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll make it work. Yeah, but back to this lightsaber dilemma. I don't know which one to I get. I kind of want to buy. I mean, I definitely do want to buy one. I just it's like there's so many different choices. And then I was looking at the Princess Leia one, and I was like, oh, it might be cool to have a Princess oh, Leia God. one because, like, you know, because Charlotte and everything. Yeah, the Princess Leia one actually is pretty cool. And I was looking at the Count Dooku one, and that one's cool. They're all Count really Dooku. cool. I don't know, maybe I should start. And then I love my Luke Skywalker FX one, but this one, like, you could actually like, take the hilt, you know, the hilt's alone. It's so much to think about. So, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take another day and figure it out. They don't have the short blades for the uh, the Ahsoka Tano's, um, which is good, because now I don't feel like I need to buy one. I could just uh, use the long blade that I have at home. But that means I won't be able to use two sabers at the same time. You gotta get the short blade. And that's only at Galaxy's Edge. And we are coming back in February, so. Yeah. Yes, we're coming back without children, so yeah, that means I will be free to shop myself and Dave. 
<laughs> we'll be free to roam around Galaxy's Edge and spend time in uh, Doc Ondar's, which we didn't, or didn't uh, this trip. Yeah, this trip. Um, well, you did go over there. How come you didn't go in the store? Uh, because I was too busy doing missions for the Resistance. Oh, you know, priorities. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When the Resistance calls, I have to answer. Exactly. Resistance calls, the magic calls, I gotta answer. All right, good morning. It is November 11th, 2022. It's Veterans Day. I mentioned in the end of last week's vlog that we were able to get an Epcot reservation for today. Um, and the park's actually pretty busy, so um, there was either a lot of people that already had reservations because it's a holiday, or, you know, I think may maybe more people went and uh, talked to guest services about trying to get reservations today. Yeah, we're at Epcot. Um, Eric took a call this morning, so we kind of uh, had a slow morning, um, which is fine because, you know, today's really a bonus day for us. So uh, we just kind of talked about the things we want to do. I want to do Living with the Land, get another cowboy mac and cheese, maybe a tipsy duck. We'll see. I haven't got a tipsy duck in a while. I tried to drink it earlier in the day because uh, it's got coffee and tea in it. <laughs> it's delicious. And definitely a Joffrey. What about you, Eric? Did you see? Uh, yeah. Um... What's on your list? Honestly, just like the shirt says, I'm just happy, I'm just to, be happy here. to be here. I think I got the shirt in there. You know, I kind of want to get another corned beef thing I'm definitely too. doing that. That'll be my lunch. Um, so I just noticed that some of the Christmas decorations are up here. Um, so I'm hoping, I know, what a pleasant surprise. I'm really hoping that the tree is up because um, Epcot, the Epcot tree is actually my favorite tree. Here we are. Epcot for the last day. This is really the last day, we swear, we promise. Hey guys. I mean, honestly, a silver lining. We had three extra days. Yeah. It is definitely our last day here, I swear. At least, I don't want to say I hope, but we do have a flight tomorrow and hoping to get out of here. Charlotte wants to Charlotte and Ben want to do space uh, speech play. So we, 20 minutes, wait. All right, let's go to space first. All right, you hold them, I'll go park. All right. Are you gonna take your bag? Yes. Uh, looks like we're gonna go to space birth, so I'm going to manage the kids. Kristen's gonna go park the stroller, and then we're gonna go see Gutenberg. Excuse me, miss, can we buy your shirt? All right, so we uh, decided that we're gonna ride space birth because both kids requested it, so. Here we are. Space to birth. Only 20 only 20 minute wait, so not too bad. We don't really have a plan today. We know we want to get some of our favorite food and just enjoy being here because we love it here. Where are we from? Boston. Boston. And then click it again. Press Boston again. Spaceship. We just had some lunch at Connections. I got the cowboy mac and cheese again, of course. They have the good eyes. Yeah, they do have the good eyes. Um, Connections is, is a family fave, and I do like that it's like right near the entrance. So if the kids are hungry, you go right to Connections. We went. We did. Cool. <laughs> hey, we're all wearing slip-ons. We did Spaceship Earth. Um, I'm gonna have to put away the camera though because uh, it's starting to rain. Time for living with the light. A manera de recordatorio, no tomar fotos sin flash you know? y luz de video antes de llegar
I just finished my call. I just closed the laptop. And it started to rain. So, how is that? I had a call at three. It started raining. Uh, I got off the land. I got off living with the land at two fifty-nine. At three o'clock, I realized it was too too loud in Soren. So I ran to the corner of the Imagination Pavilion, where I know it's quiet and they have the bathrooms, and did my call there. I was running while they were doing the exposition for the call. I better uh, so, did the call, sent my notes, and now I gotta find the rest of my family. I've never actually seen a snorkeler in there, so this is really cool. That's a really, like a really cool looking stingray. stingray. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the fish? Char? What do you think about the fish? I know. All right, so since we're rocking Epcot, we're gonna finish doing our Remy's uh, hide and squeak. Charlotte's gonna take a picture of Remy with her kit, with it her. It won't turn on. Okay, well, it's probably dead. We stopped at Joffrey's. We got uh, some cappuccino frozen dreams, right? Oh, frozen yeah. cappuccino dreams. I got the golden stardust, which I like. I don't think they're gonna have that after the 50th. So I think once the 50th is over, they're not gonna have that anymore. Nope. No. The golden sprinkles bar. I know, and the golden sprinkles are awesome because they give it a little bit of texture. Really? Still delicious though. All right, I'll tell you our next next stop is Brazil, and I'll probably get the cheese bread and the caparina at the booth. Watch this. Oh, oh, good job. Look at this beautiful view out here. Golden hour in Epcot. My favorite place to be. Honestly, golden hour here at Epcot. Wow, there's a lot of people coming that way. That beautiful music you hear, that's actually Kenny G. He's playing a food and wine that eat to the beat tonight. Those are harmonious barges, and look at that sky. Look at that sky. <laughs> Charlotte and Eric just stopped to get a kakigori. I bought it myself. She bought the kakigori herself. Good job. Hello, we're walking into Hi. America right now. Hey. And guess who's playing on Eat to the Beat? Excuse me, though. You can't see because he's holding a note right now. Or you can't hear, rather. But that's Kenny G. It is Kenny G. And so I am funny. very excited. You know who's playing on Sunday? Sugar Ray. <laughs> I think we've, we've seen Sugar Ray, though. No, we've never seen Sugar Ray. You've seen Sugar Ray, yeah. I would love to see Sugar Ray. You saw Sugar Ray? Uh, let's, see if, let's see if we can see Kenny G. Kenny G for a second. He is the absolute like top of his craft. There's, there's like nobody better. Like when you think soprano sax, you think of Kenny G. And everybody thinks of Kenny G because there's no one else. He is the absolute goat. I don't know if Chris is going to use this or not, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not being disingenuous. That's, it's pretty awesome. Been here and play live. Well, we just got um, Joan and Eric are in line for some gel gelato. Right. So here we are. A little showcase. Okay, shark. Careful, please.
You excited? Shake it up, shake it, shake it. Gonna make it cut. Anyways, this is it. This is our yay. This is the this is the real end. This is the real park farewell. Yeah. Um, we uh, it's probably about, it's almost about 7:30 ish, and I think we're gonna we're gonna call it a day here at Epcot. But look at this. Whoa, it's gorgeous. So, it's so beautiful. I can Quick that. shout out to Shao at, yeah. uh, at the World that. Entry, World uh, Entry uh, store. Because we finished our Remy Hyde and Squeak and Charlotte picked I up a Tiana cup. cup. And then Ben's like, I want yep. Mickey Cup. And, and he, was he just like, gave him a Mickey Cup. Yeah. He's like, what's your favorite out of the four? And Ben's like, I want Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> it was really cute. Gave it, to him. So, it was really cute. Thank you, Shao. Yeah, thanks, Shao. So many magical cast members, yep. really. You are the magic. Shao, Julie, Ashley. Caitlin. So I did it. I bought a lightsaber. Uh, I decided to go with the Ahsoka Tano Clone Wars set, uh, which I'm super excited about. They also have the short blade, so now I don't have to wait to use both of them, because I already have a blade at home, which is awesome. Um, it was a tough decision. Even when I got there, I was like, oh, the, the Obi-Wan I'm going to have to ship home. And then I saw like a dude buying the Darth Vader one. I was like, oh, Darth Vader would be cool. And then I see the Luke one and I'm just like, oh, I love my Luke lightsaber. And I wish it detached the, the um, wish the blade detached. Because I have the Force FX one. I have the Force FX um, Anakin and I have the Force FX uh, Luke. And I also have the Force FX Kylo, Kylo Ren, which is really heavy. Um, so I don't really use that one very much. And then of course I have mine. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming with me on this journey. It was uh, <laughs> I really went back there three times, or maybe even more, to kind of decide on which ones I wanted to get. So glad I did, and you know Charlotte helped me make a decision as well. So thanks to Charlotte, I rewarded her with a frozen lemonade from Earl of Sandwich because that was uh, what Kristen sent me to go do is pick up some holiday turkeys from uh, Earl's Sandwich. I picked up some broccoli and cheddar soup. Maybe. I just got the drinks. There's a bug on me. In another vlog, uh, Kristen was walking back from uh, Earl's Sandwich. You're going to get a Ray one when you're older? Sean wants the Ray lightsaber when she's older. I was saying in another vlog, uh, we were walking back from Disney Springs and a bug flew in Kristen's face. That one's pretty funny. Maybe she'll link to that one. I don't know. Kristen may cut out all the lightsaber stuff too. Who knows? But she's a great editor. I really appreciate her. I really, She's a great editor and mom. Uh, and really just awesome in general. So thank you Kristen for all that you do. It's been a great trip. We have lived in Disney for two weeks which has been glorious. I was talking with my mom and I was like, when we first got here, I'm like, we had one day. And after one day, I'm like, my Disney heart is full. I'm so happy, I'm recharged, I'm ready to get back to work. 
and then we did the tour and the tour was just mind-blowing it's like we got so much done had such a great time and then after the tour I was just done I was so happy we did everything that I wanted to do and that was kind of it and then the you know we did the race the race was awesome and then we had a few more days and then our flight got canceled and then you know that was kind of tough but the end result was we got three more days in Disney like and everything worked out great you know we got a flight home we're gonna be home for all our family stuff this weekend and we get to stay in the same room which is really awesome so it was a really great trip really awesome trip uh, and I got to see what it was like to work from a hotel room in Disney that was fun together you guys want to do a sign up with Charlotte Like and subscribe, hit the bell button. See you later. Bye.